all who were able to be here today. Uh, we have a special guest in the house. Some of you may have been to the earlier assembly. Uh, but before we go further, our superintendent, Ms. Eileen Schaefer, is going to just talk and give us a little bit of background information about our guest. So Ms. Schaefer, come on up. today and, and now this group is coming in here and speaking to you guys is very special. It was a very special moment to be with you guys and, and not only to be with you guys but to really be able to encourage you guys and challenge you guys. You know, because if you don't get challenged in life you can never you can never get to your destiny. And I just I want you guys to know that and, and part of you know part of my life getting to my destiny was part of my failure. You know, I I, I was I was really troubled when I was your age. You know, I got kicked out of four four different junior high schools. And I you know, was smoking marijuana and drinking and, and I had all kinds of problems. And it wasn't until I started making the right decisions that I went on to believe that I could be a great major league baseball player when I was 14 years old. And guess what? I ended up going on to be a great major league baseball player. I played 17 years and achieved a lot of great things. Been privileged for my whole life, lived behind community gates. My kids been privileged. They lived in million dollar homes. They never struggled. They never know what a struggle is like, but I struggled. I came from a broken home. My father was an alcoholic and was a dysfunctional home. They used to beat the crap out of me and tell me I never amount to nothing. I was left, left empty on the inside. And it wasn't until I started participating and started applying myself and started not fucking the system and stopped rejecting. Because I fucked the system and guess where it got me? Nowhere. That's where it got me. It got me nowhere. When I was fucking the system and didn't want to apply myself and, and participate. Because if you don't participate in your life, your life will be nothing, kids. Believe me, listen to me. I'm telling you, it's getting involved and correcting yourself and making the right decision. You're not going to get nothing. Listen, kids, I, I did school so much when I was in junior high. They just sent me off to high school. I didn't even get to graduate from junior high school. Because I never showed up. So guess what that left me as being? Duh, this is dummy, not going to school. And it's not until I started participating in high school and got serious about getting the education and learning what life was really all about so I could move forward. You can't get a job without an education. You can't move forward without an education. I mean, you can get a low paying job, but you can't get a job, you can't get what what's there for you without the education. So if you don't if you don't participate in getting your education, 
then you're going to be left out on the other side of not having the life that you are capable of. Motivated too. You should push yourself. You should wake up every day and be excited about having an opportunity to go to school. Because school is important. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't get this part, you're not going to get that part of living out your life. Because you know what? If you don't have no kind of education, nothing behind you, you can never get anywhere in life, kids. Never. And you guys' life is important. Every last one of you that walk in here every day, your life is important. It's up to you. It's up to you to, to plug in. Instead of checking out and thinking you're cool and this and that. Cool don't get you nowhere. Paying attention don't get you nowhere. Because those that think, those that don't pay attention, they don't know nothing. It's those that start paying attention, that's when you learn everything and learn about you. This is about you. This is not about anybody else. This is about you learning to look at yourself and look at the greatness on the inside of you and who you want to be and what I want to be. And it's not about, you know, hanging out on the corners and baking and smoking weed and drinking and thinking I'm in, I'm in the gang or something, I'm cool and I'm this and that and all that's going to get me nowhere. That don't get you nowhere. Kids, let me tell you, all the people that go down that road end up dead. And there's no coming back from that. Uh, making the right decisions. You know, I didn't have a father, so I made all the wrong decisions. And my pain of who I was, my pain led me to my greatness, and my greatness led me to my destructive behavior. You guys have never seen me play. You don't know anything about me. I've been on the Super cover of Sports Illustrated seven times. I was in LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, the baseball name. I did it all. There was nothing I couldn't do. I could achieve all great things because of my talent. Being talented and being a celebrity doesn't mean you're well on the inside. I'm trying to get young kids to learn to deal with the brokenness on the inside. Had I dealt with the brokenness of me on the inside, I probably would have went on and had a great baseball career. I probably would have went on and made me another $50 million for that baseball had I not been broken. Because of addiction, I ended up in a four-state prison. One seven one six nine, great job, strawberry, eight time all star, four time world series champ, national league rookie of the year, did it all. But at the same time, I was never well on the inside. See, we can look well on the outside. We, we, the, you know, we, we walk out of the doors and make ourselves believe that we're well on the outside, but we really well on the inside. See, what I told my, what I explained to my kids, I told my kids, I don't want you to be well on the outside. I want you to be well on the inside. I've been very blessed with my kids about all the cause to achieve something because they never got enough. Yeah, I'll show it again. But yeah, let me show you the video real quick. Yeah, there we go. Now that you know he wasn't right here. Uh, I used to always wish I could go back, but guess what I'll tell you? Once the 12th grade is over, you're done. Then you go on to college. Nobody cares if you ever show up in class. Discipline has to come in somewhere. And I'm trying to get young people to bring discipline in their life. And don't be a follower. Lead your way into your destiny. That's what I gave to my kids. They all have charges to lead their way into their destiny. I can't do it for them. I don't want to do it for them. No one can do it for you guys. You have to do it for yourself. You have to believe in the dream. If you believe in the dream, you can, you can achieve it. If you don't believe it, you probably will never get there. If you're waiting for help, waiting for somebody else to do it for you, it's never going to happen. It's going to be up to you to participate. It's going to be up to you, you to get into action. It's going to be up to you to reach across the aisle and reach for help. If you need help in school, get help. It does not make you weak because you need help. It's important for kids to understand that. It's important for kids to make the right choices. It's important for young boys to know who you are and, and don't have to try to be like a, a hoop and a thug on the corner and you know, smoke weed and baby and all these other things. You don't need to get involved in all that stuff. It's a dead end. You know, it's a very dead end. Like some kind of struggle. We all want to come from somewhere where we have to deal with stuff. It doesn't matter if I put a baseball uniform on, police uniform on, it doesn't matter what it is. We are all going to have some type of struggles that we have to overcome and become who we need to become. But for you guys, you need to understand 
Because we're in such an epidemic today with young people with depression, anxiety, suicide thoughts, vaping. Guys, so people don't understand that vaping is going to vaping is going to mess your health up. I use drugs and stuff and mess my health up. I didn't have cancer twice and lost my left kidney in the second surgery. So if you've never seen the mirror, you're looking at you maybe bring some type of awareness to you so you can understand. All that you was watching up there, me in a jumpsuit, police, is real handcuffs. It can happen to you if you make the wrong decisions. It can happen to you. I wasn't a criminal. I just made the wrong decisions. But today I have 16 years of recovery. I have 16 years of recovery because I made a, I made a decision to do the next right thing.